Crooked Joe Biden, our disgraced president, has wasted trillions of taxpayer dollars in less than three years, causing uncontrolled inflation that is crushing working families. Reining in Biden's wasteful and unnecessary spending is vital to stopping inflation and rescuing our economy from ruin. But the pain of the spending cuts must be borne by the special interests and Washington bureaucrats, not by American families and American seniors in particular. For 200 years under our system of government, it was undisputed that the President had the constitutional power to stop unnecessary spending through what is known as impoundment. Very simply, this meant that if Congress provided more funding than was needed to run the government, the President could refuse to waste the extra funds and instead return the money to the General Treasury and maybe even lower your taxes, although we did give you the biggest tax reduction in history and the biggest regulation reduction in history, two things I'm very proud of. And they still are there, although they're disappearing rapidly under Biden. Thomas Jefferson famously used this power, as did many other presidents, until it was wrongfully curtailed by the Impoundment Control Act of 1974. Not a very good act. This disaster of a law is clearly unconstitutional, a blatant violation of the separation of powers. When I return to the White House, I will do everything I can to challenge the Impoundment Control Act in court and, if necessary, get Congress to overturn it. We will overturn it. I will then use the President's long-recognized impoundment power to squeeze the bloated federal bureaucracy for massive savings. This will be in the form of tax reductions for you. This will help quickly to stop inflation and slash the deficit. To prepare for this eventuality, on day one, I will order every federal agency to begin identifying large chunks of their budgets that can be saved through efficiencies and waste reduction using impoundment. Of course, this will not include national defense. And unlike Ron DeSanctimonious, who doesn't really know what's happening, I will not lay a finger on Medicare or Social Security. He wants to destroy Social Security and basically obliterate Medicare. These are benefits for our seniors. We are not going to touch it. There are many other things we can do. We're not going to let Ron DeSanctis do anything to hurt Medicare or Social Security. On the contrary, some of the funds we save through impoundment from other parts of the government can be used to strengthen Medicare and Social Security for years to come. Reasserting the President's historic impoundment authority will also restore critical negotiating leverage with Congress to keep spending under control. Very simple. We're going to keep spending under control. We had it done, and then COVID came in, and we had to do some things to help save our country. We did a great job, but we were starting to make lots of money. We were energy independent. We were going to be energy dominant. We were going to be taking in massive amounts of money from the liquid gold that we have under our feet more than any other nation. And we were going to reduce taxes and pay off debt. This is the only way we will ever return a balanced budget impoundment. Just as importantly, bringing back impoundment will give us a crucial tool with which to obliterate the deep state drain the swamp, and starve the warmongers, these people that want wars all over the place, killing, killing, killing. They love killing. And the globalists out of our government. We're going to get the warmongers and the globalists out of our government. With impoundment, we can simply choke off the money. This policy is anti-inflation, anti-swamp, anti-globalist, and it's pro-growth, pro-taxpayer, pro-American, and pro-freedom. I alone can get that done. I'll get it done, and I'll make America great again. Thank you very much.